In the front row, he and Derek Coleman exhorting the Pistons to stop the Lakers and win the ball game. The Lakers have the ball in a two-point lead. Shot clock is inside, five. From the corner, Reeves. And he rips the net with 12.4 to play. Wow. Huge hoop for their reliable shooter. This is why you like playing with LeBron James. Uh, LeBron, Darvin was saying that, uh, I guess you guys looked at some film this morning about the rhythm of the group that, that was closing that fourth quarter for you guys in Philly and, and said he was giving some deference to you guys finding a rhythm in the closing quarter tonight. How'd you feel with the group out there and, and how's it been kind of getting used to Darvin's style and, and building trust in some of those groups out there? Well, I mean, um... You know, trust is always key, you no know, matter who's out on the floor. But, you know, having a closer lineup and knowing, you know, the guys are going to be on the floor when it's winning time, uh, it builds a lot of chemistry, it builds a lot of trust in that. So, um, you know, tonight was another one of those instances when we was able to build more trust and, and, and win a game, a uh, close game. Man, for someone like Austin, who just knocked down some big shots, do you think it's more of him having trust in himself, you specifically, other teammates having trust in him, or is it both of it? Um, I don't know. I mean, that's, a, that's an awesome question, but I trust him. Um, I love what he brings to the table, both offensively and defensively. And uh, his basketball IQ is very high, and he plays hard. He doesn't make many mistakes. And um, anytime he's on the floor with me, um, I trust him to make the play. Either if he has the ball in his hands or I have it, I want to, you know, try to find him. And that's, um, you know, what I was able to see at the end of the game. And, you know, they left him open, and I was able to find him, and he was able to do what he do best and knocked it down.